Hello ladies and gentlemen, just another build uh, that I have. I saw most of my builds in my playlist were kind of crap, uh, when I have much better ones. Uh, so I want to showcase one more that I kind of liked. Um, and this, uh, I originally played this in Parandus, but it's been knocked down to standard uh, because that league is way over. And I never made a, I never made a video for this build. And I actually, this was actually one of my most successful builds. It came, it went up to level 92. Uh, and at this point, like the end game content got kind of boring. Uh, so I kind of stopped um, playing with it at like at level 92 because we could beat literally everything. And so I was playing a side by side with Pet, which was a, he was playing a guardian and he was like giving me so much armor and like physical, uh, well, I already had physical defenses, but um, like uh, ma ma max resist and shit like that. So uh, originally when I did this build, I actually didn't get all these endurance charges. This is almost the same as how I had it before. I tried to keep it mostly the same, mostly the same. But if I had the option to re-roll, well, which I did, I would have went more into endurance charges. And then I had to find Enduring Cry, and this is like a level like five Enduring Cry. So this isn't quite optimal, this build right now. Um, but I'm just showing you how I would make it now. And it actually still is really fucking strong, so it really doesn't matter, does it? So I went heavy into the Endurance Charges for this uh, for the, this version of the build. Uh, I got in Wavering Stance. I uh, got some buffs for Fortify over here. Originally, this build actually went into these Leech Nodes over here, but actually... They actually buffed the Marauder since this, and so I actually went, ended up going into the Pain Reaver instead, because that actually used to be garbage, but now it's actually really good. Uh, so I decided this time to kind of pick up that guy uh, for the Ascendancy points. And I got Cray of the Slaughter, which is more attack speed and movement uh, movement speed. If, well, movement speed if you haven't been hit, attack speed if you've been hit. And Aspect of Carnage, the best point here. 40% uh, more damage, 10% uh, increased damage taken. And then I got obviously mana. This is how I do leech sustain with this build over here. Uh, I haven't done Uber Lab in standard, so I can't get this guy, uh, and I don't really care to. I just want to show off this build, but I would go over here probably uh, with my last two points, and that's that. Uh, so most of the other stuff I have here is just some jewels that helps with damage. I got mostly life from the tree because it's uh, actually an incredibly tanky build. A little bit of uh, AOE when I can get it, and uh, some more mace nodes. Basically like that, and some more damage here, uh, and some more damage and some lightning resistances apparently. So I kind of head towards a lot of the like the damage note. It's a mix of damage and life. And to be honest, if I ever did a tutorial for this game, it would probably be with uh, this class that I'm doing here. Uh, it, it's it was honestly one of my favorites, and I'm running um, Herald, uh, Herald of Ash and Hatred, and it is an earthquake build. And keep in mind that this build actually used to be stronger. Uh, they nerfed uh, Earthquake uh, recently. So uh, for maps, I'm just going to like, I, I'm i going to just, I, I, this is, I can't, listen, I'm in standard right now. This is all my stash tabs. I have no idea where the fuck anything is here. So I'm just going to like roll this as something. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's not really that dangerous though. I don't know. Do I care? Do, do we care to just reroll it? Fuck it. No, I don't want to reflect map. Cannot be stunned. Uh, fire resistance, more minion life. Okay, so this should be... Uh, th well, actually, that's that's temporal chance. Fuck that, actually. I got more cast here somewhere. I'm never going to use this currency for anything. Players are incursed within people. Okay, this should be a good one. All right, all right, all right. So we're going to do this one. Um, yeah, I'm never going to use the currency because I never play standard. Uh, but we're going to play with that, and I click that down there again. So this was an earthquake build. So I kind of readapted it just now to essentially have like uh, yeah, I don't need this shit. Um, yeah, all this is like all my links are garbage. I should actually show you. I got a I got a six link uh, Marohi Araqui, uh, which is the best for earthquake. Earthquake is a kind of a slow attacking spell because uh, it has a delay on it, and so you want to attach that to less duration to minimize the delay because it kind of works like this. Then the thing that comes around it is a delay. So that's why I have less duration on it. Uh, we got Conk Effect just because I figured I didn't really need the AoE, and I really don't. Uh, added Fire for more damage, Melee Physical Damage Support for more damage, and Weapon Elemental because I'm using Hatred and Herald of Ash. I have a Combs Heart uh, for my armor just for more life, just to be as tanky as possible. And I have Cast of Damage taken, and Mortal Call, Mortal Call would be maxed out if I actually, like, as I said, this is one of the things I changed on this build, because that's what I'd normally do, is I do Cast of Damage taken, and Mortal Call, Molten Shell, and then I guess Summon Flame Golem is fine. Probably increased duration, to be honest, in, instead of uh, Summon Flame Golem. 
Uh, that's what I do right now. Like I put that down here and then like put increased duration on it. But at the, at this very moment, it's just like um, it's whatever. Oh, I managed to get twenty five percent increased herald of damage, uh, herald of ash damage on here. That's kind of what I did with that. For some reason, I have an unset ring with hatred on it. Um, I guess I just kind of didn't manage to work it in somehow. As I said, I changed it just now because uh, I wanted to show you guys the build, but like it's not perfect, but it should give you a good idea of what to do. Um, if you want to do this kind of build. I also have the warp time piece. It's kind of the best amulet for me because I have, I have uh, reduced skill effect duration on here, which is actually incredible for this. I get some attack speed uh, and I get some life leech and mana leech, which I need a lot of because this is a very kind of a, like a very leechy build, very man manly build as well. I have Herald of Ash, Fortify, uh, Leap Slam, and Faster Attacks on Empire's Grasp. And the only reason I use this is because... Uh, I get to put knockback on leap slam. It was kind of funny to me, and I also get a shit ton of armor. But to be honest, it's not the most optimal pair of gloves. If I had the chance to change it now, I'd probably just get one with tons of life. Uh, so it wasn't a very good choice here. I did get Dorian's invitation once again. This is probably not necessary either. I think I got it for the physical leech at first, but I just never replaced it. And um, I would definitely get a life belt uh, um, now if I had the chance, and some mediocre boots that aren't actually that great. Uh, and so I'm actually using for flask. I have the forbidden taste because my life pool is so big. Uh, because like I just need the life. I use I had like way more regen I think beforehand, but it's just whatever at this point. But I I, I use that. Like I could have like easily 8k life. I, I think if I had actually geared correctly. Um, especially like things like this. Like what the fuck is what the fuck is this ring? Oh, because at three to nine physical damage attacks. <laughs> wow, this is actually, uh, this is not geared right at all. Uh, I have to say, it's actually the worst gearing I've ever done. Uh, but you guys are going to see how strong, it's strong anyways. And and I was doing it Ziri with it. Uh, but yeah, now that I look at this, um, this is an embarrassing crappy amount of gear. But anyways, um, we have granite just because I like to tank up against uh, things and remove curses. At Ziri's promise for a bit more of that leech and more damage. Uh, and we got Sapphire and Ruby just because for Reflect. Uh, I think I was using at the time. Honestly, at the time I was running this build, uh, Life Flasks did nothing for me. Because uh, I had way a lot of Leech. And then I had this for Emergency, so I'm just like, fuck it. I'll just put in this stuff because it'll help me against bosses and shit like that. Because th those were the things that were actually killing me. So let's actually give this a shot. Um, I'm not going to show you. Well, actually, the DPS actually does matter now. So it's uh, 52,000. Which is probably inaccurate, because I think once I get going... Oh, maybe it's it's less now for some reason. Oh, because I'm feeble. Okay, so I got a fucking 10k drop in damage. That was this point. This, this shit. Alright, so... As you can see, I just kind of one-hit everything. I think I missed some guy over here. Yep. This is honestly one of the strongest builds I've made, and... Even with Enfeeble, it's like... Does not matter. Literally does not matter. It's like the one punch marauder kind of a thing. So we got some crap here. I don't even know why I'm picking up stuff. I'm never gonna play this character again. So you do this, and the, the whole the whole playstyle with it is to keep your endurance charges up, then occasionally a mortal call will proc, uh, losing your endurance charges. So you have to kind of reget them uh, by just cat. You just basically you do W. Uh, literally, it's on W. You do W mouse one, I guess. I've actually never played on this uh, map before. So basically you're an incredibly tanky, very versatile build that just man loads into everything. And like the 6 link Murahui Eroqui, not a necessity for this, but it was like the easiest thing for me to run. And like it's incredibly hard for me to take damage because I have like 50% uh, physical damage reduction and I'm sure if I had all my endurance charges up that would be much more. Or actually I did have some of them up. So like 44. There you go. Resistance is all maxed, uh, as per usual, but not overly maxed. As I said, this gear, the gear on this character is actually kind of trash. Movement speed modifier plus 58%, so he just kind of runs around all the time. A little bit of regen, and that's pretty much all you get out of this. So I managed six endurance charges. I think it's because I didn't kill Oak. Uh, sorry, I didn't help Oak in uh, Merciless. I can actually guarantee you that. Because I just tried to retrofit this just to show you a decent kind of a build because uh, as I said most of my builds are kind of crap I won't lie uh, on, on my on the uh, what's my call it on, on my playlist um, and I actually as I said I made a lot of decent ones so uh, 
You know, now that I think about it, this guy could easily be, like, way stronger than this. Like, even this is not that good. Uh, well, it was better, it was better when that we were actually doing the league, and remember, it was actually meant to be played kind of in synergy with a, uh, with Pat, who was playing a Guardian character. It was basically like, he was making me extremely tanky, and extremely, uh, I did, there was a map I missed there, but I just don't care, because, uh, as I said, I'm only here to kind of show you a build I, at one point did. So, like, everything, I, even with Enfeeble on me, everything is extremely easy. And like, yeah, as I said, there was about like a 20% damage nerf on the after effect, aftershock on Earthquake. And you can see I'm still just ripping through everything, so it literally doesn't matter. I mean, I actually killed him for the most part with my initial hit. I'm actually just trying to find the boss. I've never run this map, so I don't know where he is. But this is like, if you are new to the game, I would highly suggest a Juggernaut in the same way I'm running it. And you just kind of like, man mode everything. This is actually, as I said, if I did a tutorial for uh, this game, I would likely do it like th with this kind of character. Because the Aftershock is only, like, it doesn't even matter. Oh, uh, I don't think I've ever done Shaper either. Did I just kill the boss? No, he's right here. I'm not even, like, enduring crying most of the time. An end undone. No matter. The void remains. One more lost world. Insignificant. I've never done Shaper in st Standard either, at all. So, one of the nice things about Leaf Slam, so as I said, the uh, knockback is uh, reversed. So if I kind of, uh, let me go find a group to go into. So I have Fortify on that, and I on and I honestly I kill people most of the time with just the knockback, good job. So they kind of come towards me instead, which is good for Earthquake, because I just like leap into a bunch of them, I get Fortify. As I said, since it's a build that, for the most part, just one hits literally everything. Um, I don't know, it kind of worked out, but as I said, I probably won't do that anymore. It's literally just a kind of a meme now, well, the way I'm doing this. Um, as I said, I also have like, uh, what was this one? Attack with a word of fury and hit, and then occasionally you see my hammers just kind of all over the place. So, as I said, this, this build kind of, uh, it was amazing. It was amazing in that league, and it's actually still kind of amazing. It's still really good, but, you know, as I said, it, it could, it's not, like, min-maxed the way it should be. Um, as I said, I kind of, I, I should have showed it to you off in the league that I was good at, and I almost died there. Duh. I don't know it hurts so much. I'm just get it on this guy. I think it's that guy. I don't know why he hurts so much. He actually almost killed me. But that's why we have the super flask, guys, because I just clicked that once and, like, all my health is basically back. But, um, hey, this guy was way better. Oh, the dude, that was Reflect. <laughs> okay, now you guys know why I didn't do a Reflect map. Because that would literally kill me. Alright, we've pretty much cleared this map. I, more than 50 monsters, it's, it's cleared. It's cleared according to my low standards. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it has a lot of upsides, this, this build. I love it to death. Uh, but yeah, it could definitely be done way better. And I know this now, but, uh, I don't know. I still want to show it off because it's like... As I said, it was definitely one of the strongest builds I've ever done. Uh, it's just a shame I never showed you guys how it was in Parandus, because it was actually much better there. Because the, the game has changed around too much, so everything's like... It's kind of it's kind of more mediocre now. Uh, but it was way stronger back when I back in its heyday. Uh, but I want to show it off in case you want to do like an Earthquake build or something in this game. As I said, it's I think it's like one of the more uh, stronger newbie-friendly ones, because as I said, I could just run into everything and tank it. Uh, for the most part, um, as I said, if Enduring Cry was a bit better and I did some better choices at certain points in the game, then yeah, it would be um, it, it would be really strong right now. It's still really strong, obviously. It's even stronger than that Flame Blaster I was showing you guys. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, take care.